In this video, I'm going to show you how to check to see if your version of Kali is running an uh, open SSL version that is susceptible to the Heartbleed attack. Having an operating system that is vulnerable to the open SSL would allow a malicious website to dump some of your memory when you visit it. So it could be a big issue, especially if you're a pen tester. To first off, to check to see if you have a vulnerable version, open terminal type in open SSL and then version. If you have version 1.01 .01 to 1.01F, basically anything below 1.01G, then it's likely that it's a vulnerable, then these are vulnerable versions. To get an updated version of open SSL, open IceWeasel or your preferred web browser and go to open ssl.org and click on the source tab then download the newest version and then just save the file and I'll save it to my desktop you can go ahead and close your web browser to extract the file that you just downloaded open terminal change to the directory where you downloaded it in my case it's desktop, then type tar-xvf space open SSL and you could just hit tab and it'll autocomplete it. Now change to the directory that was just extracted. Okay. So now we're going to configure it and then install it. This config um, line is going to be a little different than just the standard dot slash config because we actually need to tell it to install into the directory that Kali uh, um, expects it to be. So do dot slash config dash dash prefix equals slash usr and then space dash dash open ssl dir equals oops, etsy slash ssl okay as this goes ahead and configures now do make now that it is built we're just going to type uh, we're just going to install it, so just make install. If you're not running as root, you're going to probably need to do sudo make install. Okay, and that's all there is to it. As soon as this is finished installing, I'm just going to type that command open SSL and then space version to verify that we are running the updated version of open SSL. So open SSL version and we're now running the new version of OpenSSL 1.0.1G which is not susceptible to Heartbleed. If you like this video please rate it and if you'd like to see more videos like this please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Normally it's really simple to install the Tor browser. All you pretty much have to do is just download it and then open it. But there are a couple caveats with installing it in Kali, and I'll go over those. Today I'm going to show you how to brute force a uh, website login using Hydra. There's the IP address for the host, the login name is root, and the password is 557. So if I go back to the form, root, and then 557. Sign in, and that's it. Very simple. One thing that might be helpful if you were trying to mitigate against this type of an attack would be I'm going to show you how to perform a low bandwidth denial of service attack that is quite effective against um, a, a large amount of uh, websites, mostly Apache host machine, the victim machine. If I actually refresh Apache, <laughs> It's not even coming up, I didn't do it quick enough. Today I'm going to walk you through how to install Kali on VirtualBox. Uh, Kali is a penetration testing operating system. 
you'll want to open VirtualBox and create a new virtual machine. I'm selecting to use the encrypted drive just because it has a few more steps in the setup process and the login in process so that I can document it. This is the login screen. Your username is root, R-O-O-T, and the password is the password that you entered when you first installed Kelly. 